Hey guys, it's Lobby Designs here, and um, today I'm just going to be uh, doing the first episode of a new mini series that I have planned. Um, basically, it's just going to be introducing you to all the new, um, sorry, not new, but all the different types of demons that there are, or effectors to use in real fight. You can call them whatever you want, um, but yeah, so I'll be doing, I'll, I will be doing, uh, I'll be going through every single one. Um, some of them I don't actually know what they're for personally, but I'll be looking them up, so it'll be like a little learning experience um, for us and, and whatever. Now, this is going to be a really short tutorial. Um, it's going to be on K volume, which is really important. I do have to be somewhere, so I'll just keep it at probably three, four minutes. Um, but this is one of the most important demons. So you use it um, for, say you have a um, simulation where your max sub-steps are made uh, kind of low and the uh, the calculations go wrong. And then say you have it bugged out or something and then the, all, the, all the liquids kind of fly everywhere or, or which way in that and then maybe your real flow will crash. This will, this will stop simulating any particles that go outside of this cube here. So the, the way to set it up, you can just go to fit to scene then it'll leave a border on the um, on the plane and just above the emitter. So if I zoom out and then just make that level, you'll see that there's a little gap here, and then there's a little gap here, and you can see that there's a gap on the plane. So there's little gaps everywhere, um, and it just kind of leaves a border. But if you just hit this little square here with the triangle in it, um, so the arrow that goes to the another little square, and you can just drag these in. Just drag that in. Ooh. There we go. And if I just drag this upwards like that, you'll see that if I just hit reset and then simulate, it'll just go to the ground and it'll stop simulating uh, where the box kind of where the border of the box is. So that's just a quick handy tip. Um, it, I don't think you can have more than one because I mean if you have something that goes in the middle of them um, it won't calculate it so it's not going to come out the other end um, but yeah maybe if you had a starting emitter there then it might work um, but that's just really handy if you don't want to crash your uh, your scene or your simulation or maybe your render or something like that um, and so yeah that that's really important I use that all the time make sure you use it um, just uh, I guess subscribe favorite like uh, do whatever and I'll see you guys next time enjoy